What is up, everybody? Back with some more low heat, uh, some Jordan 1 low heat, which is, you know, if you're watching this presently, uh, you know, that's that's nothing new. Uh, Jordan 1's, the price after market has kind of fallen off. I don't think that necessarily means Jordan 1 popularity has fallen off. Everyone likes to turn it into that conversation. I mean, people still like Jordan 1's. I think just through the sneaker craze of the last few years people have purchased you know many pairs of Jordan ones spent all their money all their closet space all their shoe space on Jordan ones and just you know there's a little bit of um, fatigue but just also people's capacity and bank accounts have you know dried up uh, so yeah I think it's not it's like people don't like this shoe anymore this will always be a classic I think that conversation needs to be tweaked a little bit uh, but yeah it's it's crazy to me. These are sitting. Uh, we'll get into that more in a second. Let's take a look at this first uh, new box, kind of that cement color box, uh, Jordan box. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of matte finish. I got these off of the sneakers app the day these dropped, and they are still sitting there if you want them. So if you do, after this video, decide to purchase them or pass on them, either way, uh, please consider giving me a subscribe. It's free, it takes one second, boom, you did it, or mouse, finger, whatever. It's free, I'd appreciate it. Give the video uh, a comment, like if you like the video. If you don't, that's okay too. Uh, so what do we got here? We got the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in black and fire, red and white, size 11 and a half. Um, I think these are called the wash gray. It's always interesting, the, the common term or phrase or name that sneakers are called often do not show up in the colorway, uh, the official colorway, which is odd to me. I, I don't, I do not know the the naming nomenclature for Nike or Jordan brand shoes. So maybe someone could drop some knowledge. That seems to just be the accent colors. So that's weird. The predominant color isn't listed there. In size eleven and a half, maybe that's like the sole and hits throughout i don't know uh size 11 and a half that's my size jordan's tend to fit not tend to fit jordan ones do fit true to size in my opinion too small they your toes kind of run into the end as you walk i can fit an 11 but the in my old age they're like why 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 suffer through that it's not suffering i can wear a pair of 11s but i would never do a ton of walking in them and 12s uh fit obviously there's just a little loosey-goosey that's all so cool packaging interesting packaging uh, definitely like it. There's a stamp there. I wonder if my Travis Scott's, was there a stamp on the inside? There wasn't. And I was like finding that a little sus. I couldn't find like a stamp inside this Travis Scott Jordan 1 box, but they passed eBay. Uh, authentication. Watch that video if you want. But here's a stamp. Anyways, let's see. Let's check these out. These were just two. I've been trying to tone down my low heat purchases, um, sneaker purchases in general. But these just, to me, were too good to pass on. Uh, I, I had to try for them, and since they're sitting, I was an easy cop. Like, look at that. That is a clean Jordan 1. I'm not even a gray and white guy, but, like, how can you... I mean, these will go with everything... I mean, the bright white still kind of stands out and contrasted with the gray and the black sole, the red hit on the tongue, like, I, I can't even say it's a dull shoe. I gravitate towards flashier, colorful shoes, but I do like my white shoes. And, and um, this, to me, is the perfect blend of, like, you know, casual wear, but goes with everything. I think sometimes that term's thrown all around a lot goes with everything uh these i mean you can't argue they won't though this definitely will go with everything it's uh that is a nice nice colorway like if you have like that if your aesthetic is the the monochromatic black and white silver gray uh is that if that's your wardrobe i mean this is your shoe but what's nice is like i have a lot of you know, graphic tees, um, 
different colored t-shirts and tops and sometimes it's a little bit much to go like wild shoes wild pants wild top and so it's nice to have uh sometimes non-wild shoes to pair with you know maybe a more eccentric graphic tee you can like tone it down overall a little bit you know you can't have i mean i'm not a celebrity that's i think that's the great thing about being a, an eccentric or a celebrity or whatever an artist is like you can just dress like crazy and it just makes sense. People nod their head and like, oh yeah, that you know, that's okay. But you know, if you're if your accountant three cubicles down starts like popping off with their fits and spray painting their hair pink, like it's everyone's like, what what midlife crisis are they going through? So yeah, this is uh, let's check out the other pair. Oops, rip the tissue paper. Uh, doesn't look like there is. An, oh, there is. Okay. There is, there is another pair of extra laces, an extra set of laces. But yeah, it's, it is, what would these go for? Let me know in the comments what you think these would go for, like what, three years ago? Uh, two and a half years ago? Uh, to me, I think uh, retail would have been like 170 uh, a year ago or a couple years ago. 170, maybe 160, no, 170. I think these would have gone for like three, maybe 300 maybe 300 this a wearable colorway like this classic jordan one retro high og um i think this would have gone for like 300 maybe not much more than that but i think this could have pushed high 200s 300 pretty easily so come stock with white laces you get a backup pair of alternate alternative black laces kind of like those i i generally like contrasting the laces to the tongue color um the white's pretty clean i might keep the white in uh, in this case lace them up just keep it super clean if these ever get uh dirty maybe throw in the black laces for something different but uh i already have damn i'm embarrassed like these i just did a short a youtube short on like having too many shoes that are similar well, I done messed up because, because I have these and, uh, these are like, I, you know, you like what you like, right? So if you like something, you're bound to get similar things. Yeah. So I have the Air Jordan 1 Nike SB, uh, New York to Paris's, which very, very similar. Let's see here. Obviously, this these are suede. These are leather. This wears away to reveal some pink, but you got the black, uh, the black laces. Um, basically, the same, different materials. Uh, black kits here, but all white sole. Um, black tongue versus white tongue, and pink pink insole here. That's a good check. Let's check here. We've got a white insole, red hits. So very very similar very similar anyways i couldn't resist couldn't help myself this is a much darker gray of course let's see here let's not forget some details everyone's always wondering about certain things uh so yeah you have an extra set of laces we went over that you have uh, leather panels here on the toe box and the and the mid panel or the quarter panel here uh, suede, it's not like super soft, short hair suede, kind of thick cut, not as thick cut as, uh, like, let's say the Union Jordan 4, like the Desert Moss and the, and, and all those, uh, those have like really thick cut suede. It's actually doubled up, I think. I don't know. It might be the same thickness, but it's like doubled up. So it's not quite that thick. Um, a different dyed gray ankle collar here have your typical jordan one uh ankle liner there uh white insole as i already said uh quality on these looks pretty solid really nice uh my pair i'm not the best at spotting quality control issues other than stains and glue but mine looks uh pretty decent yeah the interesting the wings logo here it seems painted stamped it's embossed not debossed it's an embossed stamp with white paint anyways 
I really like this, like, if you are, this is perfect, if you are looking to get into sneakers, start your collection, what have you, that's the typical question when people find out I'm a sneakerhead, they're like, oh, you know, I've, I've been looking to get a pair of sh sneakers, what should I get? I would recommend this to everyone. This is a great gift shoe, like, cross your fingers that this drop goes on sale. Like, if you could get this Jordan 1 on sale for like 140 bucks, um, Man, I, that's not a steal. I don't think that's a steal, but like that's a great deal. That that is a great deal. It's not a steal in the sense like, oh, those are gonna go up or like, like how would you find them that low of price? It's not that type of. It's in my opinion, it's not a steal, but it's like that's great value, really great value. So I highly recommend these if you're looking to add a Jordan one to your collection, get your first pair, maybe get a friend uh family member girlfriend boyfriend whoever partner uh looking to get them a pair like this is this is solid uh maybe it's not bright enough for some people like me like i think a lot of people are like oh really you like those but um as i mature my tastes are trying uh, toning down a little bit here and there i'm not you know i'm avoiding the volt colorway jordan ones i didn't buy those uh younger me probably would have been very attracted to those Let's put these on, see how they look. I'm not gonna lace them up, but let's put these on. If I had more room in my closet or or house or wherever, uh, storage, I would I would double up on these, especially if they like um, went on sale. Like this, this is a uniform shoe. You could rock this during everything. So, uh, like I don't, it's more about functionality and utility. It's like, I'm not in love with this like I am some other shoes. Like, um, I really love the Argon Dunk Blue Low, uh, Argon Dunk Low. I really like those two, uh, the Gone Fishing Pack that I just unboxed. Check that video out. Uh, I love those dunks. Uh, it's more just, so I don't love these. I just like, that's, that's a great solid shoe. This is a by the door, not even by the door. I don't know, you could dress these up. These might be a going out shoe. Who knows? Get three pairs could be your your everyday wear if you don't if you're a person who doesn't own a ton of sneakers and you just need that like you know you rotate between like a few pairs for a year like this is a great option so that's high praise i've, I've given this a lot of uh giving these a lot of flowers i just don't really see the downside you know it's a jordan one classic silhouette in a really great colorway now, I can't wait for those, I can't wait for those black toes to come out. I hope the black toes come out. I hope they retro those. I know they're coming out with the black toe Jordan 1 Lowe's. I will be looking to get those. I sometimes think those look like uh, bowling shoes. Go check out a couple of my Jordan 1 Low unboxing videos, but it's a classic. I would regret if I didn't try to get those black toes. Uh, I was wearing these, the Mars Landing really like these unique shoe. Uh, it's all synthetic upper, so it really doesn't stretch much. It molds a little bit to your feet after enough wear, but not super comfortable. But 3M all over, uh, I like those. I can't remember if I did an unboxing of these. These are a while back. But the channel's now three years old. Remember to subscribe. I have a lot of videos, a lot of unboxing videos. A lot, a lot. Okay, so that's hard. I don't know. It's always hard when I don't lace them up, but you kind of get the gist. I think this is worth it. All right, let's see what we're going to give these for a rating once I get them on foot. Got some leaf with me. I don't know how that got in there. Walking outside. I used a mailbox today. Who, who actually uses those? I drop stuff off at a mailbox. Like a letter. A handwritten, like, letter with a stamp. Who does that? I'm such a boomer. Anyways, a Father's Day card. Okay, yeah, as as expected, these are uh, dope. Really dope, really like them, super clean. The leather does feel a little bit more thick. Uh, not super soft, it's not like soft pliable. Uh, it just seems like a, a thicker cut of leather all the way around. Because of that, I would not recommend going half size down in these. I already said true to size, but like I said, I could get away with half size down. I wouldn't. Just because of the stiffer leather, I would for sure go half size up. I mean, true to size, or you can, 
if like the only size they have available is half size up, uh, you'll be, you'll be fine for the most part. Um, wear thicker socks. Would not, would not recommend like settling for half size down. Really great. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the white laces in, keep it super clean, keep it a super clean shoe. Uh, I think these are good for summer. Great for, great for any time. Great for any time of the year. Fall, winter, maybe spring. I like to throw on some more colorful shoes. Maybe I put these, put these in the back of the closet and storage for uh, springtime, but other three seasons, these are the, these are perfect Jordans to wear. Hmm. Let's see. I think baseline, these for sure get an eight. How much above an eight do I want to give these? I gave those dunk lows. What did I give those? The fishing ones, like 8.5 and 8.75. Let's give these like an 8.25. I feel like most normal Jordan ones, like bare minimum, get an eight. Um, this isn't a, there's no crazy story behind it. No crazy materials. The colorway isn't like mind blowing, but it's really good. Let's give it a 0.25 up. This is an 8.25 out of 10. I feel like that might even be low. Might even be low. You guys let me know what you would give them in the comments. I, I, I'd totally be behind anyone who's giving them a higher rating. Clearly some people aren't up on them. That's why they're sitting. But I think it's just because the people can't resell them. That's part of the reason they're sitting. Like, I think if you ask most people, this is a good shoe. Uh, it's just they don't have the, they, you know, can't spend their money on everything. Don't have the space. A lot of these people who used to buy these were looking to flip them or like looking them at as assets or value things. It's like, oh, they're not worth that much, so I'm going to pass. But I think with taking the monetary discussion out of these, like how can you deny these are a great shoe? And I'm glad the market has settled for once uh, such that people can get these. My coworker, I think I sent him the link to these. He copped them. Uh, my boxing trainer, Marcos, uh shout out him he, he copped these like you cannot go wrong now maybe i i do know one downside to a very copable shoe is you tend to see them out in the wild a lot i got those uh lucky green jordan ones and um uh, those are pretty easy to get or were at least and they're pretty affordable even on the resale market and i do see a lot of people with them and you kind of you know you kind of want to be unique but Maybe I just sit on these for a bit, wear them in a year. Either way, happy with the pickup. Uh, the only reason I'll be unhappy is if these go on sale, you know, pretty quick. But I got these from Nike. I could return them and rebuy them. That is an option. I got these from Nike, so uh, I could do that. That is a benefit. So we'll see. I'll sit on them for a bit, not wear them. And then, yeah, that's the play. Return them and rebuy them with a discount or on sale. Oh, 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 bonus uh, poll question. Uh, I forgot. This, so this is the washed gray, kind of part of the air quotes washed series. They've had a number of them uh, released so far. I think pink for sure. I think that was a women's only uh, sizing or women's sizing. Couldn't get those. And they had the turbo green and that like turbo blue. I had the turbo green ones. I really liked them. I wore them for a bit. Did part with them like a year ago. Just clearing room. Needed some money to fund other shoe purchases for the channel. Please subscribe. Uh, and so I parted with them begrudgingly. I would have liked to kept those in the collection, but it's, I'm not stressing, so I know it was, it was okay to let them go. But uh, what do you think is the best in this wash series so far? I think the turbo green one was pretty great. I think this is the best of them, followed by the turbo green, uh, that like Charlotte Hornets look. I swapped them out for the alternate purple laces. I put the alternate purple laces in. They looked fire. I think the pink next and then the, the blue, the washed blue ones come in fourth. Again, not that they're bad. I talk about this all the time with rankings. Just because something comes in the last place doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I would give it an 8 out of 10. That's all. Uh, but let me know in the comments what your favorites of the wash series is. What's your favorite one? I think this is this is my favorite of the four that have that have released so far. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Thanks for watching.